let's talk about independent event. So with independent event, two events, A and B, are said to be independent if probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. If the two events are not independent, then we call it dependent probability. Then we call it dependent event. If A and B are independent, we say that A comma B are independent. So let's look at something here. If A and B are independent, then A and B complement are independent as well. So in that case, you finding the probability of A intersection B complement in the independent event, we have it that probability of A and the probability of B complement only if the events are independent. We could also apply to if A and B are independent, then A complement intersection C complement or intersection B complement is also independent. Then we have A complement times probability of B complement, which simplify the independent event. Now let's look at some examples or some theories so for some theories under it for three um set theory the event a b c is so we are going to look at a b and c are called independent if so if the probability of a the session b is equal to the probability of a times the probability of B and um, if probability of A intersection C is equal to probability of A times probability of C, these are independent probabilities. And we should also know that probability of B intersection C is giving you probability of B times probability of C. And for three. Probability of A intersection B intersection C equals probability of A multiplying probability of B multiplying probability of C. So if A and B are independent, we say that these events are independent and we, this theory is established. So in that case, we could say to be A, B, C are independent. Let's take an example. So with this example, the circuit figure one operates only if there is a path functional device from left to right. The probability that each device function is shown. Assume that the device fails independently. What is the probability that the circuit Operate. So let's let L and R donate the event that move from left to right. So event R. Let L and R donate the event that the left and right devices operate respectively. And there is only a path if both operate from independency. So we assume that since both operate independently assume that the device feel independently that means that left and right device they operate independently then we could establish finding the probability that the event um the circuit operates will be that the probability of l intersection r that's the left to right will be equal to because they are independently to be probability of l multiplying the probability of what r and in that case we could have that our L 
is 0 0.8 times our r is 0 0.9 and then we we'll have our probability be 0 0.7 so the probability that the circuit operates is 0 0.72 very simple as that so this is independent event and most of the times it comes with independent you must make sure you see the word independently most questions they make you understand that they um either the event is happening independently then you will use the condition established above let's move on to conditional probability so with conditional probability right let A and B be two events in a sample space. So let A and B be two events in a sample space. Then we could know that the sample space with the probability of B is greater than zero. The conditional probability of A given B. So the conditional probability of A given B is denoted as Conditional probability of A given B is expressed as this. And when you express this, it's equal to P probability of A intersection B all over probability of what? B. And this is the trick. Um, we are finding the probability of an event of A given B. So they give you a given b, and then when you're expressing it, it becomes this. So that we have probability of a intersection b all over the probability of what b. This is conditional probability. So in that case, when you have probability of b given a, you're going to have that probability of a intersection b over the probability of what a. And in this case, if a and b are independently we could establish that then probability of um, A given B will be equal to probability of A intersection B all over probability of what B. But in this case, we could express this independently as probability of A times probability of what B all over the probability of what B. So in that case, A acting independently, we are going to have that the probability will be what probability of what A. But this is going to cancel only if the conditional probability is independently so given um a given b so we have a given b then and it's independently then we establish this formula in that case the probability of um, a given b will be called the probability of a independently conditioned as in, a, in an independent event but without an independent event, then we establish that is this. There's a formula that tools that probability will be good. Probability of um, a given b will be this, right? We have a sample example here that we'll solve it, and I'll make you guys understand it very well. So in that case, to the same thing, probability of um, find the probability of b given a. We're going to have that probability of a intersection b all over the probability of what a. And in that case, when you use um independent event you're going to have probability of a multiplying probability of what b all over probability of what a so in that case this will cancel this and then we'll have probability of b only under independent condition so it's very important to know this conditional probability let's take an example so for example we have that a family has two children what is the conditional probability that both are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy. Assume that the sample space S is given by this. We have boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, girl, girl.
So let's solve one question under conditional probability and solution. Let's go to your question. A family has two children. What is the conditional probability that both are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy? Assume that the sample space is given by this. One, two, three, four set. And this is boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, and girl, girl. So in that case, let's establish something here. Let's let's let capital B be what? Both boys, right? Both boys. And let's A be at least one boy. So in that case, we donating B to B the both children are boys and A event that at least one of them is a boy. Then the probability that we are finding will be what? Probability of event that is given that's both boys given that at least one of them is a boy is equal to the probability of B intersection with A all over the probability of what? A. And in that case, This probability of A is what? At least one of them is a boy, right? Let's do that. So we have here. And when we go here, at least one of them is a boy. We have one of them is a boy here. One of them is a boy here. One of them. So we are going to have B, B, comma. So probability of B, B, comma. We have at least one of them is a boy. B, G. And we have what? Uh, G, B. And then the probability of B intersection with A is what? Probability of B intersection with A is BB, right? So with BB, then we move on that. With BB, this is going to give you one out of four, four sets. We have one, two, three, four. So one out of four sets all over. The probability of being at least one boy is in how many sets? One, two, three. So it will be three. So that will be um, three over four sets. And at the end, we are going to have our answer to be one over three. In this case, it's very simple because you are finding the conditional probability that um, that uh, both are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy. So both are boys, given that one of them is a boy. Using the conditional probability, we establish that to be probability of B intersection with A all over the probability of what? A, in which A is what? At least one of them is a boy. And this is B intersection with A, whether we are going to have boys' voice, right? Both of them are boys, right? Both of them are boys intersecting with at least one of them is a boy. That means that you're going to get your boy boy because you get one, two, and this up to two boys, right? Then all over, there yeah, at least one of them is a boy. You have it from one, two, three sets. And the sample space is four sets here. And then we get what? Thank you very much for watching this.